Hey guys, John here, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Oh yeah, cheers. It's been another great day. And uh, an old story occurred to me. I was doing a little flashback to when I was young, when I was a jarhead out there in North Carolina. And uh, Corporal Dave and I, We'd go out to different establishments, check things out. We'd go over to uh, Virginia Beach. I uh, went down to Myrtle Beach, you know, just goofing off going out uh, at night. And every time we'd be heading back, um, <clears throat> he had off-base housing. We'd go back to his place. He'd go, okay, we're going to turn on the lights. There's going to be cockroaches. And let's see how many of the little bastards we can kill. You know, so we'd get there and turn the lights on, and those fucking cockroaches were gone. You know, I mean, within an instant, bam, they're out of there. I think I killed zero that way, but it was always funny as fuck trying to do that. So, you know, upon reflection, I thought about how I deal with people. You know, when I expose them, they run, they scatter, they hide like cockroaches. Right? Cockroaches know they're filthy little bugs. They know where they live. They know they live in their shit. Right? So do these little feminists and these little, uh, these little leftist, socialist, uh, America killing jerk offs. And they're all part of the same team. It's just feminism is a more sophisticated cockroach. And that it hides in the houses of all men. All men. If you've got a feminist in your house, she is hiding there. She pretends to love you and take care of you. She's plotting your death. She's plotting your destruction. It's a fact. It is a fact. If a feminist stays with a man her whole life, it's because she's beaten him down into a slave and she's satisfied with him as her slave. Right? If a feminist stays with a man her whole life, it's because she couldn't get a better one than him. That's why. There's no other reason for a feminist to stay with any man unless she's satisfied and gets off on destroying and owning him or unless she just can't do any better. Right? She's reached the zenith of her ability to dominate and own and destroy a man. That's the only reason that feminists stay married. That's it. I can't think of another one. They've got their social agenda met, right? They, they've got their self-image satisfied. That's the only thing that can be satisfied, but they can never be happy with a man. So in every other case, they will destroy men, divorce them, steal their money, and just move on. Much like cockroaches. Cockroaches. You know, they go into a house, they take it over, they make it filthy, right? They take something good and they destroy it. They putrefy it. Understand the cockroach and you're going to understand these socially engineered programs that are meant to destroy us as men and destroy the free world. You know, and it's... it's. I can't... I can't... I can't word it any better than that. That's what they're doing. Now, well, it's evidenced by the fact. It's evidenced by facts. And those facts are that men are taken in by women. Right? They're, they're lied to by women. Men think they're getting something out of a relationship. And these feminists are there to live off of them. They are parasitic. They're parasites. Men need to understand this. You know, if you already know this, I'm preaching to the choir. You know, what can I do? I can just give you another colorful way to describe the situation. But like any good parasite, feminists move into a man's life and take it over, destroy it and make it theirs, and then move on when they've exhausted his resources. And, you know, cockroaches multiply in a house. When a woman meets a man, she hides all of these negative characteristics she has and then slowly over the initial months and initial years 
her her negative parasitic traits, her vampirical nature comes out greater and greater. It multiplies in its demand to own the man, own his house, his resources, his value, to destroy his pride, his self-worth, until they utterly destroy him or move on to the next guy. I find it revolting, revolting. And speaking of things that I find revolting, YouTube is demonetizing my videos and the videos of many, many people. If they do not like the content, right, they, they will demonetize them in an effort to financially punish us, right? And all you guys do is watch the videos, the commercials play, and both YouTube and that video producer get a couple of pennies on every video. But they want to take that away from video makers, right? YouTube is basically parasitic off of our effort, if you want to look at it that way. And they would rather see us destroyed because the message is so vital. See, if my message was uh, vacuous or pointless, if it was kittens playing with yarn, what would they care? Right? It doesn't hurt them and they make money. But because I have a valuable message, one that wants to get out, that men are enjoying hearing, and that it's having an effect, YouTube and Google can't tolerate that. So they've got to destroy us, or at least hamper our efforts. At some point, they're going to start giving us strikes because we violated their community guidelines. And as I said before, at that point, I will be putting, if they take me off altogether off YouTube, I'll go to uh, John's Scotch and Cigar Funding at Patreon.com, and I will release videos there. That's what I'll be doing, because I won't be silenced on this. Not if I can help it. Right? When I face down, back to the, the video content, when I face down feminists, these little gold-digging sluts, right, these painted-up tarts, they scatter. Yes, sir. When I face them down in person, they scatter. When I face them, one or more, they will not look me in the eye. They won't pipe up. Right? If they truly felt strong about their beliefs, I'm sure they would. But they're scared, like cockroaches. Like cockroaches. They're afraid of the light. Right? The light of truth being shined on them and exposing them. They run because they prefer to do their work in private, secretly and quiet. Now, the little tramps that run around college campuses, right, that are freshly indoctrinated and they haven't chosen yet to go out and destroy a man, they think they can make money on their own, then they find out they can't, then they get into it with a man, and then they go about destroying his life. They do that in the dark. In the dark, like a cockroach. They'll be with the man during the daylight and act cute and nice, and they'll get him alone at night and work on him and work on him and work on him and pound him down, threaten him with sleeping on the couch or no sex. But first they start with bribes. Do it my way and I'll give you what you want. They start taking over a man's life systematically. They're born with this knowledge. Right? It's in their DNA to get into a man's life so that he takes care of her. But they combine that with this, this vile, putrid technique of taking over a man's life and controlling him and making him think he's getting what he wants until she's ready to move on. And that's why so many marriages end up in divorce. Because they get what they want until they move on. And at the beginning of the video, I talked about those that don't move on and the reasons why. But where do they like to work? Where do cockroaches do their best work? In the dark, in the cracks, when no one's looking and no one else is listening. See, if a man were to sit at a table with other men, and his woman goes, it's time to go, honey. And he's like, ah, I'm with the guys. That's the end of it for her. She has to wait till she gets him alone at home in the dark to beat on him. She can't do it in daylight in front of everyone else. She knows she'll get called on it. And men, we need to start doing that. 
when you see a fucking woman badgering a man, help the fucking brother out for once. You know, say, hey, bitch, back the fuck off. That's a man you're talking to. Stand up and put some fucking man in that guy. You know, tell him, you know, brother, you got to fucking stand for yourself. If you don't do it, no one will. And tell him, if you don't stand up for yourself now, where are you going to be at in a year? Where are you going to be at in five years? And tell him, man, brother, we love you. You got to stand up for yourself and have some self-respect in front of these bitches. Because you know if he can't do it in front of you guys, she's going to whip his ass into shape at home. And that's a fucking beaten man. And she'll beat them down. Women beat men down into simps. They beat them into blue pillars. They make them into fucking beta males. So we've got to stand up for them. We've got to say, hey, right? You're a fucking cockroach. Back to the dark. Back to the corner. Why don't you go nibble on a little piece of shit in the corner? They need to be told what they are. They're parasites. They're vampires. You show me a good woman, I'll put her to the test. Right? People, women that claim that they're good, that they're no waltz, they're not like other women, right? Not all women are like that. Whatever it is they want to say about themselves. Prove it to me. Right? I'll be polite. You call yourself a unicorn, I'll say, thank you, unicorn. Right? But you that doesn't mean I really think you are one, because I have no real evidence other than some words. Men need to start standing up for their brothers. They need, you need to tell your friends the truth. Whether they're young or old. Whether they're married or single. They need to hear the fucking truth. Right? Say, you're getting beaten down, man. You're getting hurt. This chick is taking shit from you. And that's why women, one of the first fucking things they do is move in with a man so that she can be there at night to work on him. And they always, always try and get rid of his friends because that is the last line of defense the man has. Because then it's just one-on-one -on -one and they will fucking beat on a man and beat on a man and beat on a man. Right? The way a disease eats away at somebody slowly and over time it works. So guys, we've got to see these cockroaches for what they are. They are little, filthy bugs that live off of the efforts of men until they consume every last bit of him and then spit them out. This is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Semper Fi. Go to Patreon.com if you want to support me. Thumbs up.